with uh, Aaron and Tom gone now, how does your role change as far as the leadership with, with these young guys coming in? Uh, it changes a lot, you know, because I'm one of the older guys on the team now, me and Alex. Um, you know, we've been here the longest, so we have to leave with experience. How fast has time gone for you here from freshman to now? Does it feel like it's been a long time or does it feel like it's gone fast? Uh, I feel like it's gone pretty fast. You know, things just happen so quick. I'm, uh, I'm looking. I mean, my fourth year, I mean, redshirt junior, but it all just happened so quick. What would you say has been Coach Bartow's early impact? Coach Hoffer was talking about the defense. I see smiling. What, what, uh, what, what has he brought? Coach Bartow, Coach Bartow will tell you about yourself. That's, that's one thing I give to him. He'll tell, you, he'll tell you if you're doing good, and he'll quickly tell you if you're doing bad. So he'll tell you about yourself, but, you know, he's real passionate. Um, he really, really knows what he's talking about as far as defensively and as far as the game. He really knows what he's talking about, and he's just a great ad. What do, you, okay. what do you tell you about yourself? Uh, when I'm not in the stance, you know, he, he gets at me. Uh, he'll get in your face. Uh, and like I said, I'll just tell you, like, you're just not doing this very well, son. <laughs> How has uh, your, your practice format changed a little bit with Barcho taking over defensive stuff? Say that one more time. How is kind of the, the format of what you guys do in practice? Is there anything new that you're doing with Barcho that, this year that you weren't doing before? Um, I mean, yeah, there's, there's new drills. Uh, we emphasize different things on defense. Um, that's pretty much it. So we drill what we emphasize now. What have, been your, what have been your impressions of the new freshmen? Um, they're good, you know, tall, uh, physically built. I mean, I think they're ready to play. When you have someone like Moses from 72 can vertically space uh, on, in, on offense, like what is that? do to help the guards? Um, Moses is a little different because, you know, you could just throw it up to him and he'll go get it. So, I mean, it's perfect for guards. And on defense, like, if you get blown by, he could he could really block the shot. So it's just a different dynamic with Moses. So he's a great ad. How's your first uh, couple of months on campus gone? Uh, it's gone pretty well. Um, it's just, you know, getting, getting through with school and then practicing. So. It's been pretty fun so far. It's, uh, um, you know, there's going to be an adjusting period, but um, I think um, I've, I've been through it, and I think I'm sort of becoming more acclimated to, to what's going on here at UCLA, and it's been pretty fun so far. What's, been what's the biggest, biggest adjustment? adjustment that you've had to make from high school to now? Um, just time management. Um, there, you, don't, you don't have too much off time, so you really have to make the most of the time that you have, um, whether it be, you know, studying or doing your schoolwork or getting extra time in the gym. Um, you really have to balance out, um, you know, basketball and school. Um, it's difficult, but um, it's, it's worth it. Has there been a big transition from college defense, from high school defense? Uh, yeah. Um, obviously, um, I'm playing way better competition in practice and way better players, way better caliber players. Um, you know, it's forced me to sort of take more of a stand on defense. Because um, that, you know, that's that's one way you could get more minutes on the court is just playing defense. So um, I've really been working on my defense, um, um, and yeah, so just just being strong and being quick, being able to guard more than one position is, is super important. For the UCLA fans who might not have seen you play yet, how would you describe your game? Uh, I'm a very aggressive slasher um, who can knock down open shots, and I rebound and push the ball pretty well. So I'm um, just uh, very athletic. Um, Slash, I guess. What are you looking forward to most about having this exhibition game this week and kind of being to have your first taste of playing the game? Uh, I think it's going to be super exciting. For, you know, just playing for the first time in front of you know all these people in the in the, in the stands is it's going to be eye opening. It's going to be sort of nerve wracking, but um, I think it's good that we're getting it, getting it out of the way before you know the season starts. Did you go to a lot of UCLA games growing up, being from LA? Uh, I went to a few, not too many, um, but once I, once I, you know, started progressing in the recruitment with UCLA, I started to come to more games, um, and so yeah, I've been to, I've been to a good amount to realize what Polly's like. Do you have a favorite one you went to? Um, I would say the the home game here against USC. I think it was last year, either last year or the year before when Lonzo was on the team. Um, yeah, those, those the USC 
UCLA games are always fun to watch. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a huge rivalry, and uh, you know, um, it's, it's good to see what I'm what I'm going to be dealing with. Did you almost did you consider SC at all? Were they in your um, they were in they were in my list, but you know, ultimately I, I felt like out of all the schools, UCLA was best for me, um, best fit, and um, you know, it just fit me as a person. What do you think is the strongest trait of this freshman class? Yeah. The strongest trait? Yeah, of the freshman class, of like the, the strongest quality you guys have to get. Oh, okay. Uh, I would say probably confidence. I think we have a lot of, I think most of our freshman class is, is extremely confident and, you know, we believe in our abilities to play and I think that's why, you know, we're going to get a lot of time it's because we're not, we're not sort of scared of the big lights where, where we realize that we're here for a reason. We show our, our abilities and we have opportunities to play on the court. Coach Chip, you were uh, almost on the way back from your uh, bruise you had. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, today actually was my first day, you know, playing, get back with the team, so it should be pretty cool. Where was the bruise? Uh, just on my, my left side, right above my knee. So. What did you work off on, on the offseason to get become a you know, improved player? Uh, you know, I really try to get stronger, you know, just get a better feel for the game. Um, try to work on things that, you know, really defense, I try to work on that a lot, you know, getting more flexible. But on top of that, I try to work on my offense as well, you know, coming off screens a lot more, you know, knocking down more shots. What did you learn from kind of testing out the draft waters a little bit and just getting your evaluations back? Uh, really, you know, just, just seeing the players and getting to play with them and, you know, playing at the combine and stuff, you know, I really learned that, you know, I, I mean, I have the ability to play with those guys and, you know, really that, I mean, it's, it's going to be a hard transition, of course, but when you get to that next level, you just got to be ready to, you know, do it every day, all day, so. You talked about improving your defense, how big is Cliff Parker? Oh, it's been good, you know, uh, I'm actually, you know, real thankful that he actually came, you know, just for him to come here and, you know, be a strictly defensive guy and, you know, not just help me individually, but, you know, help the whole team. And, you know, I think that's something that we lacked a little bit last year. So with him coming in and, you know, showing us new defensive, you know, principles and stuff, I think that that's really going to help us out this year. The G League is now offering $125,000 to guys. If you were doing it over again, would that be something you would consider? Do you think that's an attractive thing for, for high school guys? I mean, I, I, that's nice, you know, 125000 or whatever. I mean, I guess that's okay. But, you know, I ultimately came here, you know, because I love the atmosphere. I love the college atmosphere. And, you know, I think that's the, the way to go. You know, I think me, you know, my ultimate goal is want to get to the NBA, of course. And I think I'm sell, setting myself short by just going straight to the G League, you know. Rather, why not just come to college for a year or two and, you know, get to the NBA rather than just go there. How has uh, Coach Bartos' presence maybe changed the practice, um, like the difficulty of practice? If you're a more defensive-minded guy, it's probably going to be more intense and a little more tiring. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's actually, it's, it's not it's not as bad, you know. It's just, you know, you got Coach with the, you know, the real offensive side, and you got, you know, we go to defensive breakdowns, and we go with Barto, you know, he just he just shows us new things. You know, we got a just the new zone, and the way we play man is a lot better. And, uh, you know, I'm just interested to see how it looks when we play different opponents.